how we drink extra juice. This is our bonus episode where we get to be a little bit looser and say... I was going to say, say a little bit less, but be a little bit less restricted. We just won't talk say. to you for this whole episode. We just okay. won't say nothing. <laughs> very filtered version of Yes. This. No, it's the opposite. It's very unfiltered. Yes. This week's bonus episode is sponsored by Primark or Pennies, which is your one-stop destination for holiday packing this summer. What kind of packer would you say you are? You know me. Well, we're kind of the same. Well, you're kind I'm of changing kind of your tune. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely a last-minute packer. Mm. I, I pack in my brain before I physically pack. Does that make sense I pack to you? in my notes. Yeah, no, yeah. maybe I need that. I need to actually no, write down. But then I, you can tick it off. Yeah, I, I pack in my brain. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I think that tricks myself into thinking that I got you've it done. You've done it. Yeah. yeah. Or you've bought it. And then it's the <laughs> night before and I'm like, yeah. Ah! Yeah, yeah. But no. I always have to run into pennies for the last minute trip. I love it the day before. It sets me up for my holiday or for wherever I'm going. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's a weekend away. Pop into pennies and pick up your bits. Yeah. And I love to put them straight in. Like I got, I went and got two pairs of pyjamas and then I got like socks and knickers. But I love the way you can just insert socks and knickers straight in. Yeah. You don't have to go search for them, just no. pop them in. And then I just love fresh knickers for holidays. Oh, you need. I just love it. You need. The last time I, we're, we're, I think it was when we were going to Australia, I think I bought 25 pairs of knickers. Oh yeah. You and need. We need some, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But pennies have so much stuff to help you with your packing. Yes. Charlene has really taught me into a packing cube girl. Love packing cubes. They're life changing. Uh huh. Yeah, and I got really cute pink ones and pennies. Really good. Mm. The luggage is great as well. Yeah. The suitcases. The lovely matching ones. Yeah. Adorable. I just need them all. And I all, wish I could have so many. Yeah. All the little bottles um, for all your or little minis that you want to bring. I love the fact that they have stickers inside them that you can, so you don't have to like guess what it is. You're not putting moisturizer in your hair or like. And you're not bringing big weighty bottles of, yeah. of stuff. They have the stickers of all your little different bits and bobs and you yeah. put them on your own little packaging. And the new swim. Stone beauty, mm. unreal. I've seen massive stuff in there. Really nice, mm. like all the like, cool prints and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I went in yesterday. It was really uh, the pajamas are really cute as well. I like, got little flowery ones. Mm. Real like cottage core vibes. Oh, cottage core. <laughs> so make sure to pop into your local penny store to check out all the gorgeous bits from the latest summer collections, or see in store beforehand as well with their online stock finder so you can plan your trip. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it's good to just go and have a route yourself. Have a dash. Well. Yeah. yeah, do a dash. <laughs> So, for the bonus episode, we've started doing Rants of the Week. Yeah. So, Rant of the Week is where we get to give out about something that's... Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> and no one can give us hate for it because we're telling you it's stupid. Yeah, yeah. We, we know. know. We know it's stupid. In advance, yes. You Please, don't no hate. tell us. Yeah. Um, and it's always a first world problem. Something so, ridiculous. And we, I, I, I write in my notes as it happened. Yeah, a lot of mine have been around. driving ones. Yeah, is it this week? Driving again? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What was it? I wrote it in my notes and I just wrote down. My rant of the week is people who think that once they indicate that they're entitled to drive in front of you. Like they think as soon as the indicator's on, yeah, I'm going to go. No, yeah, no, no. You've got to be conscious of You're that, only yeah. letting me know that you want to come in. I still haven't decided whether I'm going to let you in or not. True. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it happened to me on the M50 yesterday when I was leaving your house. Traffic was chocker. Oh, leaving? Not yeah, when friend. I was on the way home. No. Oh. Traffic was chocker. And... Somebody in a van in the left, I was in the middle lane, somebody in a van in the left lane, he literally just turned on his indicator and turned. It was like as if he did it all at the one time. And I was like, eh, hello? Like just straight in front of me. So I honked on the horn. I was holding down the horn. I was like, what are you fucking doing? I think I flashed at him. And he, he hit the brakes. Broke? He broke? Mm. How do I say that? Hit the brakes, I think. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. I sound like I'm going to start rapping around. Yeah, yeah. He... Yeah, hit the brakes uh, in front of me, like as if he was like going to like stop or something. I was like, what are you fucking do? And he rolled down his window. So why are you going to start and shout at me now? I have my music blare. And he, he went across me then and then went into the fast lane. So he was on the right hand side of me. And I knew he was waiting to come side by side with me. So I just kept my music up and I was driving with a big scaldy face on me. I was like, scalded? Scalded face? Is that the word? Scalded, yeah, yeah. Scalded face on me. I was just like, because I have my arms in the air and all, but like, don't just assume that because you're no. an indicator on, you can just fly in front of me. Like, I agree. Um, and you put, roll down his passenger window and you start shouting at me. Muse, like. Yeah, I couldn't really hear what he was saying. I didn't give a fuck. I just love not hearing. I was just looking at him and I was like, what are you fucking doing? I was just looking at him really? and then I just drove away. Weird. What's he sh- he, you're the one that was letting. Yeah, like, I'd say, I, yeah, what can you say? I think somebody. Why are you flashing at me? Yeah, because you absolutely just threw your van right in front of me and scared me. I'm convinced that most people in vans can't drive. Hot, hot I takes, always wonder how do true. they see behind them? They've no if their van is like blacked out at the back. How do they see through their mirror? They don't. So why do they have it? Do they have a mirror in vans? 
Like, do you know, like a middle van? Actually, I, um, no, do you know what? Most vans have windows at the back, but they're like tinted windows, but you'd still see. But you ever see if it's a big like transit van that's like oh, yeah, they completely white or completely like a colour? True. Can they see through that? No. No. Well, this fella bleeding couldn't anyway because he pulled oh right. God. I just get a, a real fright. I know, I know. I get so Maybe much he fright. got a fright of your flash. No, surely not. Well, I was beeping for ages. Oh. Uh huh. Freak. Well, don't do it. Don't just. I mean, do you know what? He probably wouldn't have. My dad says that though as well. Maybe, I, maybe I get it from my dad. Like, like if I don't know if we're driving with our no, we still tell my dad that he bought his license. I'm no, still convinced driver. he did. Really? Yeah, definitely. He's not really that great, but he'd fight you on that now. But um, <laughs> he always says, "Yeah, I, I, just, I can't stand when somebody indicates and they just presume that because I'm indicating, I, that I, means I have to can go." Yeah, 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 no, I'd never do that to somebody. If I was trying to indicate into someone's lane, I I'd always still check. Yeah, 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 wait and see, or sometimes somebody will flash it and let you in, yeah. like or yeah. whatever. And yeah, I'd never just indicate and fucking oh, la 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 and assume <laughs> like. No. It's just rude. Yeah, so uh, people have no road etiquette. Yeah, these days. My rant of the week was. Oh, that and the cost of petrol. Jesus, since leaving diesel to petrol, oh my God, I'm really finding it heavy. Oh yeah, you're petrol now. Oh my God. I've never been diesel. I think there's a hole in my petrol tank. Really? It's flying. Don't know what, my dad was like, it's the way you drive the car, like you're driving the whole off it, excuse my language. I was like, dad, it makes a bigger engine. No, it's the exact same two litre engine, but he was like, you drive really fast. I was like, dad, I don't think the speed matters how much. It does. Of course it does. Yeah, so if you, and if you drive in like, say if we, your car was a manual, if you're driving in too low gear and you're revving, that will burn more petrol. Your radio burns petrol. Your aircon burns petrol. Radio's always on. Yeah, all that burns, it's petrol like it runs on. My petrol gauge is also kind of fucked. If you go around driving like a granny racer then, not granny, a, like <laughs> a granny, like real slow, then you'd have loads of petrol. My petrol has a mind of its own. It just randomly tells me all these different digits all the time. Like we even took a video of it this morning. She got into my car this morning. And she was driving my dad somewhere and she got in and she took a video to show me. And she said, Ellen, I didn't even have the car on. And it was saying that you had 320, 320 kilometres petrol. And then it was going to 300 and then it was going to 310 and then back to 300 and then 320. Like it was just going up and down. Up and down. It has a mind of its own. It probably just thinks. I think it's broken because the petrol station loves me lately. Too much money. I have no money. Maybe it is. Why don't you get to me? I can't be hers. Too many car problems lately. Honestly. No. Can my car insurance is after going up as well? That's really weird. Not my Did you add so. Dana onto her or something or like No. Just myself, me, myself and I. I have four people on my car. Do my car know? is like the family taxi. <laughs> is it? Yeah, my mum, my dad and Queen. Well, my dad's actually on mine. Is he? On mine, yeah. I have the four of them on it. Great. Everybody go. <laughs> I'll add you well, on. Does it. your insurance go cheaper then? Yeah, I think yeah, I, it does. Uh, the more it experience you have on it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think it was free to add my dad and then I think it was twenty euro to add Queen. Yeah. But I, then I got less because he's driving yours. So it, it brings your insurance down, like your money. Yeah. Well, it's fucking sad. I don't know what happens. You have to renew mine in June. Now I'm scared. So that's my rant of the week anyway. The usual. I think I am a professional driver and everyone else is shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Change the name of the segment. <laughs> yeah, fuck. My driving this week. Yeah. I do hate people on the road though. Sometimes mm-hmm. they're just chaotic. Like you yeah, drive every day and they're just all out. Yeah, but it's like, you're not going to get there much quicker than me. Stop trying to overtake me. I am a speedy driver though. You do, do drive quick. But I don't think I do. I think it's just the car I drive. I don't feel like I do. Because my ma- it happened to my mum before. She drove my car home. From, well, it was my old car home from Limerick. And she was doing like 160 down the road. And I was like, really? mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah, I was like, um, Helen, because you don't feel you. it. Yeah. She's like, Jesus, I didn't even feel that. That was me. I, I think when, it's automatic though. You don't feel yeah, it when you're I, not moving gears. When I first drove my car, I was doing something high and I didn't realise. And I didn't, oh. no, I shit myself. Mm. But I think I was doing like 110. I was like, <gasps> shut up, I swear, No, I swear to God. I, I went past the speed van. Oh, uh, Queeva. Well, I must have been in went one time because I didn't get a fine. Yeah. Well, Queeva got one a year. Queeva only got one recently and it was a year later. Yeah, they can come up to a year later. Yeah. I didn't mean to, guys. I didn't, I didn't mean to speed. She drove past a van the other day and I said, no, nope, when that letter comes, you're paying it. Ah. Do you reckon she's going to be over? Nah, no. She was like, it didn't flash. I was flash. like, I don't think they'd actually... No, I, no, I think that's a myth. Yeah, that didn't... I never seen one Do you ever see vans parked behind the van, so to, like, block it? It's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Can they do that? Yeah, because there's no one sitting in that van, apparently. The no, it's van, not. They're just left, left there, and it's, the camera's just left running. But I've often seen, like, on TikTok or whatever, like, like somebody will park behind oh it and cover it. Six like, sticker on yeah, it. Yeah, like, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love you. Have you got a rant? My rant of the week is... People whose conversation I can hear who are miles away from me. Why can I hear conversations? There is no... 
this rant, now I feel dramatic that I'm saying it, but I was on my period, on my period now, but I was only started it. So I was feeling very triggered by everything. And I could hear these people's conversation and they were about, like, say you're on the train and you have two seats mm-hmm. and then some four seaters, like, they were like, maybe four or five rows past me and I could hear the whole, it was actually only, I could hear just the girl talking. There was a girl and two boys. They were like normal volume and she was just screaming. See, I'd be, the, I'd be her. What, screaming? Yeah. I'm Same. very loud. Same, but we've always says me like we'd be at home and somebody in the house would be like, "What? Whoa! Why are you screaming at me? I think I've something wrong with my ears." Oh no, I hope that. I don't mean if people are deaf. No, no, yeah, but yeah, like I know, yeah, when they're just obnoxiously loud. Is oh, what you mean? Oh, sorry. This, I'm actually wrong. That wasn't the reason why I wrote the town. She was actually not. She was kind of the ice on the cake because the whole train was annoying me. Mm. So that was annoying, but she actually was fine. It was a fella. I went into what's that coffee shop. Cafe Nero in the train station oh. and there was a fella sitting there and he was on, he was doing meetings you know lovely quiet coffee shop people are doing the work and laptops yeah. he's screaming on his phone uh, like about like cars and all like. I just don't think people can read the room very well sometimes but the, no and I was staring at him I was like I actually felt like going can you actually be Will please you shut up and it's just like people are in a coffee shop trying to relax and yeah. he's screaming he was like and then he was on the phone to someone he was like you're breaking up like proper doing he was no lying. yeah so I was like oh my god the fuck and then like he was just on like I just couldn't I was no. like at my wits end mm. he was so I had to end up having to leave that tipped you over the edge yeah why can I hear a conversation you're so far away from me yeah like would you ever tell someone sorry you're being really loud no yeah I'd be afraid just give them evils yeah just stare around no I don't think I even my evils aren't even they're like Wait, I get my Botox and you won't know if I'm yeah, having yeah, sure yeah. yeah. No, but uh, I just shouldn't be able to hear, unless they're ha- you have a reason to be talking so loud, but like, if I'm on the phone to someone, the person across the room is not hearing me talk. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's why, like, stop. Yeah. He was great and he was all work and he kept being on the phone, he kept hanging up and going again. Shut up. Why? Like, why are you taking find, your calls? And he's corner. also sitting spread out like that. Yeah. In, and he's like turned to face everyone instead of face, face the window. Maybe then your voice won't travel, please. But also find a, qu- a quiet corner somewhere. Like Yeah, he's proper like against the glass where it's echoing off the whole. Maybe there were fake conversations and you just wanted Honestly, to seem like he was a working cool. man. Cool, yeah. Cause, cool. Yeah, because who the fuck? No. You wanted to seem employed. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was not the vibe. Please. Oh no. I had to leave. Yeah. Um. So if you agree with our rant, <laughs> let us know on our email address. It's how my drink at Golem now. Dot com, or follow us on Instagram. It's how my drink pod, and you can pop us a little message. But we have, we have a new segment called If I Was You, mm-hmm. and it's basically if your dilemma, you don't feel it's that serious for the main episode. Yeah. Just a little bit more lighthearted. It's a bit more, like funny. So if you ever thought that it wasn't as serious for Six Minutes Salt or Phone a Friend. This is your time to shine. Mm-hmm. This can be like a funny dilemma, first world problem, rant like ours, um, or something you want opinions on. And these are sent into our email and it's homeadrink at goloudnow.com. And then this is the dilemma. Hey girls, so I seen this man last year. It was very casual, but we got along so well. We just clicked, but he never wanted anything all the time, which I was happy enough with because I knew it was just casual. I then moved away for a month or so and later he contacted me and said, and we've been talking on FaceTime nonstop. He eventually told me he was ready to settle down. I could see that with me, but I didn't know if I was going back to where he was living. We then stopped speaking again. I had a story up of something indicating I was going back and we again got back speaking. We were speaking nonstop 24-7, talking about all the things we would do when we got there and got into deeper chats and stuff about the future. So when, it, so I expected something to happen when I got there. I saw him the first night I arrived and it's been over a week since and during the week he was very off with me. I was asking him to meet up, etc. And he was like, yeah, I'll let you know. And when I asked if he was okay, he just was saying, I'm busy at work and I'm fine. But I knew things were different. I stopped texting him two days ago, but haven't heard from him since. But before I got here, if I hadn't replied, he'd be sending me more messages and being eager to continue the conversation. My dilemma is, do I contact him to ask him what happened or what changed so I can understand and move on? Or do I not even bother giving him the time of day? He literally sold me a dream and now that I'm here after eight months of staying in contact and not seeing him, he got so distant I don't understand what's happened because the first night I saw him was amazing. Love the podcast, girls. Hope you can help me. Is this a case of like the chase is better than the catch kind of thing? Yeah, like the chase he of was, him getting proper like cold feet. Yeah, he was fun with the chase and like the thought of it and like the texting and the all that jazz. Yeah. And then she got there and now he's like, ah. He's done. Like, yeah, she's there. I, my work here is done kind of thing. Yeah. But if you're chasing, do you not want the prize? Hello? That's what I mean. But he got, he's seen it the first night. Yeah, but you do not want to always have the prize. Yeah, true. 
on the lucky lucky prize seriously men baffle me I don't get it that is bizarre my Charlene will tell you do not contact him no absolutely not but I'm going to tell you of what I do I would text him because I'm no I would stupid. text him too I would text him <laughs> And be like, what? what's going what's your on? fucking issue? Yeah, I think eight ones in, like you kind of right to do that. And be mm. like, what's going on? You literally sold me the dream. I'm here in front of you. What more do you want? I wouldn't even say that. I'd just be like, what? What had you so off? So what did I do something? Problem? Or yeah, I wouldn't even say did I do something. Well, you know you that I'm just, wrong. Yeah, true. Absolutely true. Not. We're never in the wrong girls. Just be like. And if he's like, well, no, and I just, uh, I just be like, well, we can't. We we're talking right once. I yeah, and thought more would come from this. Mm. Do you reckon maybe he's like, see, he's seeing someone or something. Oh fuck! This is giving me Australia. Why do I feel like she's in Australia? Really? Yeah. My initial vibe would be like maybe he's seeing someone, mm. and. Then she obviously got, he got the win, the she's coming back and it was like, oh shit, but I want her too. Kind of vibe. Because that's what they do. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. So do we text him? Then again, him? he met, you know, never mind, because he met up with her. That's not really stopped anyone before though. We text him. We text him. And we say. Yeah. Just please love me. I really just, want you to please love me and just get back with me and just always be my boyfriend. <laughs> Please, 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 I promise I'll be so good, I swear to God. <laughs> I'll be the best GF ever. No, text him and be like, what's going on? Yeah. And if he's like, what do you mean? Be like, well, you were... We've definitely learned not to say in a conf confrontational way, though, even though we want to, we find that boys, if you come at them like that, they go real defensive and like yeah. put their walls up and they're never wrong and blah, blah. It needs to be said in a way that's like kind of like you don't care and you're just touching on the topic, yeah. even though you do care. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think saying what's going on, if he's like, what do you mean? I'd be like, well, like, so use a few emojis. Well... We were talking about it months ago, and, and now all of a sudden I'm here. You're being weird, laughing. Yeah, haha. Just, or just ha -ha. wondering. Just don't. I wouldn't go send a big paragraph. No, but just say boys it, don't read paragraph. Yeah, really concise, short, to the point. Mm -hmm. Spell it out for him. Yeah, and if he's like, if he starts denying it and says what you're on about, I'm like, nothing's going on. Well, that's your that's your answer, and then he's obviously not as nice when you actually get to know. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Soldiers dream, and then he's like, puts no effort in anymore. I love doing that. Yeah, hate it. Hate, hate. But hopefully that helps. And let us know if you do. I think you do contact him. Yeah, defo. Yeah, you can't sit in a limbo. Sitting in a limbo will have your head wrecked. It's just for fair. yourself. Like I know for I'm like don't. It's not giving him the time of day. I'm more thinking of for your perspective. Like you need a bit of closure from it. True. Do it for you, not for him. Yeah. If he does come back and be like, listen, it's too much. Really, then you know. Yeah. You're not sitting there wondering and guessing and and then you can't thinking it's your yeah. own fault and yeah, yeah. I agree. So you can send your dilemma or first world problem or rant to homeadrink at goloudnow.com. That's our email address for everything. So same for the main episode too. New episodes of Home or Drink Extra Juice come out every Monday and mm -hmm. our main episodes are out on Wednesdays. Yes, girl. Thank you to Penny for front of this episode. Thank you so much. I need to go. I only went yesterday, but I missed all the homework stuff yesterday. I want to go back. So cute. Yeah. Yeah, all the bowls and all. Need. Yeah, I wish they'd unpot some pants because I feel like they'd do nice ones to Oh my god, they would. Mm. Colourful ones. Colourful now. ones. There's a pitch to pennies now. Honestly. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to like, rate, and subscribe on whatever podcast platform that you're listening on to this right now. Listening on to this, that you're listening to this on right now. And talk to you soon, words. We love you. Loads. We love you loads. I love you. Bye. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.